Hello everyone, uh, I'm Dr. Zad Khan and today we will discuss the solution of transportation problem. So first we will solve the initial, the, first we will solve the transportation problem and find out its initial solution and the method that we will use, the method that are used to solve is north-west corner method. This will find out the initial solution of the transportation problem. Once we find out the initial solution of the, the transportation problem, then we will use the stepping stone method and we will solve for the optimized solution of the transportation problem. So let's take an example and apply these two methods or first apply the northwest corner method to find out the initial solution of the transportation problem. So if you are given a transportation problem where you have three different origins from where you are taking uh, something. So for instance, they are saying that you are taking wheat uh, from these three different origins to three different cities and the cost of wheat per ton. So that is the cost of wheat per ton. So if you're taking one ton of wheat from origin one to city one, it costs you five dollars. And if you take it from origin one to city two, it costs you ten dollars. And similarly from one to three, it costs you ten dollars. Similarly from city two, from origin two to city one, twenty dollars to city 2, 30, to city 3, 20, from origin 3 to city 1, $10, to city 2, $20, and from origin 3 to third city, it costs you $30. Now, they are saying that the, the origin 1, it has only 55 tons, the origin 2 has only 80 tons, and the origin 3 has 75 tons. So altogether it has 210 tons of wheat. Now the demand in city 1, 2 and 3 are also given as 70 tons, 100 tons and 40 tons. So if you add them up they are also 210 tons. So it means that the demand and supply are the same. So these are called balanced transportation problems. So to solve these transportation problems to find out the initial um, initial solution of that one. The first step to do is to write that down again. The table. You have the origin. City 1. City 2. City 3. Then you have supply. Origin 1, 2, 3, and demand. So you can write down the costs over here as small numbers. Write 20, 30, 20, 10, 20, 30, and the supply and the demands. Now, what you have to do is the rules of the northwest corner methods are the first thing you have to do is look for the northwest corner point so the northwest corner northwest corner cell of the table 
So we select the northwest corner cell. If you look at the table, this is the northwest corner cell of the table. <coughs> Excuse me. And fill it. in order to justify the supply and demand which means you cannot put here more than 55 right because it has only 55 so you cannot take more than 55 here and also even if you have more than 55 here, you cannot have put here more than 70 because the demand is 70. So you cannot put more than 70 and you cannot put more than 55. So how much can you put here? Looking at the supply and the demand. So according to supply we are taking from here. How many can we take? We can take maximum of 55. Now we can take 55 but we look at here. This is 70. So is 70 greater than 55? Yes, so we can take all of the 55 over here. So we took all the 55 from the store and took it to city one. So what are we left over here? Nothing. Nothing is left over here. Right? And how much demand is fulfilled? So you Subtract 70 minus 55, that gives you 70 minus 55 gives you 5 and 1, 15. So that gives you 15. So you can cross this one and write down 15. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so now here is the demand in city for city 1 is 15. And the origin 1 has no supply left. It means city origin 1 cannot supply anything to city 2 and it cannot supply anything to city 3 right now the next step is you look for the next nearest the next near north West cell, feasible cell. By feasible, it means that you can have this one and you can have this one, but this one is not feasible, right? Because nothing, or from origin one, you cannot take anything. There is nothing left. So the next feasible is this one right now how much can we take from city 2 according to the supply how much supply it has 80 tons so we can take 80 tons according to supply we can take 80 tons but if you look at the demand in city 1 the demand is only 15 so we will take only 15 so 80 minus 15 gives you what? 5 and 6, 65. So here the supply left is 65 and now here the demand if you add these two gives you 0. So it means for city 1 the demand is filled. So it doesn't need any more wheat. So does it need anything from origin 3? No, because the demand is already fulfilled. Right? Now, can origin 2 send anything to city 2 and 3? Yes, it can because it has still 65 tons left. Right? Similarly, 3, origin 3 can send something to or city 2 and Three because it has 75 tons left. Similarly, you repeat the process. Now again, which one is the north corner one? The northwest corner in this in these four cells. These are the 
fissible cells. Which one is the north west corner? Is this one. In this one, how much can we take from the supply? We can take 65 tons from the supply. And if you look at the demand, the demand is 100, which is more than 65. So we will take all 65 from the supply and we have nothing left. And we subtract 65 from 100, that gives us 35, which means we are left with 35 demand for CT2, right? And now Origin 2 cannot send anything or transport anything to CT3 because all the supply is ended. So nothing is left to be transported to CT3. So this is no more feasible. Now, from origin 3, we can transport to CT2 and 3 because we have left 35 tons demand in CT2 and 40 tons demand in CT3. So again, the northwest corner point is or cell is this one. Here, how much we can take? We can take 75 tons from the supply, but we need only 35. So we take 35 from there. And similarly, now how much is left here? So minus 35 gives you 40. Now 40 is left. Now you can take from origin 3 to CT3. How much is in demand? They need 40. And how much is left? 40 is left. So you can take 40 over there. So now the demand here is filled. Is filled. Zero demand, all filled. And zero demand, all filled. And all the supply is gone. So nothing is left in the supply and all the demands are fulfilled. So these ones, if you, the number of items that are transported from origin one to city one are denoted by X11. From origin one to city two are denoted by one two. From one to three denoted by one three. Similarly, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3. Similarly, from 3 to 1, from 3 to 2, from 3 to 3. Right? So, so you can see from this table that X11, how many tons are transported is 55 tons. X12, nothing is transported. 13, nothing from here. X21, how many? 15. X22 is how many? 65. X 230, x310, x310 are 35, and x33 are 40. So, what would be the cost of fulfilling the demands? So, the cost would be. So how much is the cost for taking or transporting one ton of wheat from origin one to city one is five dollars. So you multiply this cost to the number of items that are transported. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and then add them up. So five times 55 plus 0 times 10 times 0 plus 10 times 0 plus 20 times 15 plus 
30 times 65 plus 20 times 0 plus 10 times 0 plus 20 times 35 plus 30 times 40 and now you, you can add them up so 5 5 25 5 5 25 27 275 that one is 0 that one is 0 this one is 300 this one you can simplify just multiply Nineteen fifty. <clears throat> uh, this one is zero again. This one is again zero. Uh, this one you can multiply again is is seventy so seven hundred. Uh, and this one is zero zero twelve hundred. So you can add them up. Twelve hundred. Seven hundred. Three hundred. 1950 and 275 so 5 2 10 19 21 22 and 4 so that gives you 422 so the cost is 4 to 5 by transporting 70 tons of wheat to city 1, 100 tons to city 2, and 40 tons to city 3 in, in, this, in, in, in these amounts. So if any of the problem is given, you're supposed to follow the rules by choosing the northwest corner, fill that as much as possible, looking at the supply and the demand and fill that one and discard the cells in that row or in the column if the supply is finished or if the demand is fulfilled and 